Yes, um, I think it's a good start. I think there's more work to be done. Higher education pay would vary. However, elementary and secondary school teachers would get a $1,500 raise, while support staff would receive $750, all spread across the year. Some educators, like Dr. Amy Barber, says it's a step in the right direction. As long as we see this raise as an awesome opportunity to acknowledge the hard work that teachers are doing, but also to make sure that raise is part of a more comprehensive plan, um, to really address some of the working conditions that we know are contributing to why teachers are leaving. As long as it's part of that big plan, then uh, we're very excited about it. However, some also question if this will be enough for educators to effectively perform their jobs and compete with other states. If the legislature, the people think, oh, we're going to give them 1500 now, we don't have to worry about it for five or ten years, I think that's a, a false assumption. The Texas and other schools, their lowest paying ones are starting seven, eight, ten thousand more than the Louisiana ones. If we don't up the, our numbers, we're going to lose these professionals to other states. You get a tax benefit or something for pay, spending money, your own money to build up your classroom. That's not what teachers need. They need a fund that pays for them to get all the supplies that their classroom needs. You wouldn't ask anybody else anywhere to pay for their own stuff. Educators say their work conditions are often overlooked. However, they encourage lawmakers to invest in the future of what breeds all professions. Some of the legislation that is on the table right now is actually going to add to the workload and add to the frustrations. So I, I, I do ask that our legislators really call on teachers before making any decisions and ask them what they think uh, because they have a lot of ideas to share. The full house is expected to debate on the issue on Thursday. In Lafayette, Trey Francis, KETC, TV3.